Hello everyone, Sean Benson here, and today I'm showing you how to create your own VPN server using Ubuntu and a VPS server. Now, um, you can do this without a VPS. Uh, you can follow this exact same guide. Um, some of the benefits, as I've mentioned in some videos on VPN, is the security it provides when on the go. If you're using a uh, open Wi-Fi network, you can uh, connect to a VPN and that will go ahead and add an extra layer of security so uh, you're protected against eavesdroppers and man in the middle attacks, stuff like that. Um, now, I'm doing this on a DigitalOcean VPN, uh, sorry, VPS. Uh, you can do this on, uh, an, this particular server is $5 a month. That's the cheapest uh, DigitalOcean has. Uh, if you go over to Chicago VPS, um, dot net, they actually have service for a buck a month and the specs here would definitely do for a small server. Again, five, maybe 10 users. Um, I haven't tested it obviously, but, um, definitely I've done it. I have a personal one with them, uh, with this exact package and it works great for me. Um, you get a hundred gigs of bandwidth, uh, per month. Uh, now, it doesn't seem like a lot, but again, we're not streaming video and stuff, uh, well, which you, you can, but again, this, the, um, the aim is for the business person or, or someone like that who's concerned about their privacy, um, go out, uh, you know, you're out on online, uh, sorry, out on the go and you want to connect something securely, uh, 100 gigs is pretty good. And if you des decide that you need more, f for not much more, you can actually get 500 gigs for uh, what uh, $2 more a month. So again, um, you can't even get a commercial, you know, paid for VPN server that is that price. Um, so uh, again, the $1 a month, you can follow this guide and uh, you should be good to go. Okay, so what we're going to do, first of all, is um, install pptpd, so app-get install pptpd. Now, a lot of people may ask why we're using pptpd and not ipsec and something more secure. Um, so pptpd, uh, or point-to-point -point tunneling protocol, um, is a pretty universal um, a VPN uh, encryption type. It's used on a lot of devices. Uh, Android supports it. Um, you know, Ubuntu supports it right off the bat without having to install any other software. Um, it is, of course, one of the weaker uh, encryptions. But when you're talking about everyday use on the VPN, uh, unless you're doing something, uh, you know, a corporate office or something like that, if you're at a local Starbucks and you're on and you're using this for you know all of an hour, even if someone gets uh, tries to penetrate your VPN tunnel, uh, you know by that time uh, you're either your VPN tunnel either collapse uh, or you're long gone and the info will be useless. So this by no means is you know, um, highly encrypted traffic. It, it's encrypted um, and um, uh, it's a definitely added protection, uh, but I wouldn't use this in a corporate environment or something when you're doing, uh, you know, uh, database transactions and stuff. Um, so that's that's something to keep in mind. Okay, so now that we've installed um, PPTPD, let's make some configuration changes to allow it to work. So first we're going to the ETC directory. First thing we'll do is modify our sys control. Okay, dot conf. And what you'll do is net.ipv4 forwarding allow. So just uncomment that and then run sysctl-p which will then add that option next go to pptp uh sorry pptpd.conf okay. move down um to the end of the file uncomment the ip pool the local ip and remote ip 
Control O, Control X. Move into the PPP directory. Let's go to the chap secrets file. Okay, this is where we create a username. So user Sean say PPTPD is the server. Secret is the use is the password. So I'll just put Sean for testing and asterisk. So what asterisk is is the wild color card for IP addresses. So the asterisk tells the server that take an IP from the pool and give it to me. Um, or you can uh, hard code an IP so the user Sean gets a specific IP when going on. So that's up to you. Control O, Control X. Go over to PPTPD options. Okay. Scroll down uh, to about middle of the page. Uncomment the MS DNS. And we're going to add our DNS servers. Okay. 4.2.2.2.8.8.8.8. Now that's up to you, which, you know, um, however you want to, um, however you want your DNS configuration to be. So control O, control X to save, give PPTPD service a restart. Okay. Now we'll have to add some IP tables rules. So I've written them out for you here. Okay. So just apply those rules. Okay, so we'll get the we'll get the public IP address and now we're going to create a VPN connection here. So I already had one there, we'll delete that eliminate any confusion so we're going to add VPN point-to-point -point tunneling protocol create under gateway you put the public IP address of your server Sean Sean is the username and password click advanced use point-to-point uh, encryption you have to do this on Windows and Mac as well so that's again um, no matter what operating system on the client you're using you definitely need MPPE okay. hit save close and now we'll connect to the VPN okay so now that we're connected to the VPN you'll see that by the lock okay let's see if we can get out to the internet and we can so let's give this a whirl okay we should go to what is my ip.com and you'll see that my ip address uh, is showing um, that of the server of the public server um, that I'm connected to or the VPS I should say now if I click my IP info um, those of you who've been watching my channel for a while know that I'm in Canada, but this is showing that I'm in New York. And of course, um, that's because our info uh, is being tunneled to my VPS in the States. And as you can see, my ISP is apparently digital ocean. Okay. Um, and, uh, there you go. So now, um, some things to consider. Okay, uh, again, I didn't go over securing the server. That's for another video. Um, there are a bunch of things like one, the um, chap secrets file is clear text. So there are ways to secure it and to encrypt it. Um, and again, if you want to know about that, let me know. I'll, I can make a video on it. Um, also, uh, you can also send me an email and through my usual contacts. Um, so, and again, that's Sean Mancini 2010 at gmail.com. If you want to shoot me uh, an email, if you need some help on this, um, now, uh, again, that's the basic functionality. 
Now, we didn't go over, you know, securing. Uh, obviously, you want to secure your operating system since uh, this is in the cloud. I bet you, um, I bet you, if I were to monitor my SSH right now, I'm probably, you know, right away there's someone knocking on the door and stuff. So again, definitely want to have this um, secure and uh, monitor it and uh, all that good stuff. So I really hope that this was beneficial and helpful for you. Um, having your own VPN server is great. Uh, I do recommend it, especially for someone who's on the go, uh, you know, people in cafes and bus stops and all that stuff. Um, this can be useful and it's very, very cheap. I mean, like I said, a dollar a month uh, for a peace of mind is, uh, is well worth it. So, um, yeah, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions on any one of my videos, leave them in the comment section below. You can also email me, shawmancini2010 at gmail.com. And uh, you can visit my website, shawmancini.com. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone.